Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAdger.com here with part one, or day one rather, of the Tactical Games down here November 2nd in Florida, 2019. And I made it in, flew in this morning, plane landed about 5.33 in the morning. This kicked off at like 07 and right now it's about 9.45, I just finished my first battle of the day. I just finished this first event right here and it starts, you end up picking up like a hundred pounds. Essentially, it's a brute force bag that's round. It's like an Atlas stone. Pick it up, you have to hug it in front of you. You can't throw it on a shoulder. Take it about 50 yards down at that point from behind cover. There's a 55 gallon drum there. You end up shooting 10 rounds, rifle, uh, kneeling, sitting, and then prone. Pick your bag up, that ball, bring it back here, run over to this rope set up, two rope climbs back to back, straight down to the firing line, one more magazine from one of those three positions out of your rifle, and then draw out your pistol. If you have a sweet leather fanny pack holster, draw it out of that. Draw out 10 rounds on steel. So I'm sorry, all the rifle shots were about 50 yards. Pistol steel is about 15 yards. Run back, grab your bag, back down, third trip to the line. Draw your pistol out, you have 10 shots to hit a popper. I think I dropped, I don't know how many rounds, but I ended up hitting it and then whatever extra rounds you have are extra points. I think it took me like seven. I think I have three extra rounds, but whatever. First event of the day. Uh, I think I dropped maybe five shots actually like at the targets, two with rifle and then two with pistol. And yeah, no, I'm pleased. I mean, I've zeroed this thing. That was about it. Borrowed it from Mike, Mr. Guns and Gear, and then shoot in P365XL, whatever. Having fun. Kind of burned out having flown in this morning at 5.30. It's now 10.02. Didn't really sleep a lot on my three flights, but uh, fortunately, a friend of the channel sent something out, which is this right here says, Ivan, enclosed is an alternative to your Snickers bar. A while back, I did a 30 mile little evolution on Snickers bars, but he says, during World War II, when a German soldier was issued a Schoka Cola, he knew he had a hard battle was about to start. German air crews were issued this chocolate to help them stay awake during long missions, as well as give them energy. Schoka Cola is high in caffeine from the cola nuts. So it's time to bust this open because I'm pretty worn out right now. It's about time for a little bit of caffeine and chocolate. Boom. Whew, two layers. Plenty for friends. Absolutely. Right now we just got finished up. It is 1.37. We just finished up with our second battle of the day. I think it might've been battle number one. I don't battle, know. Yeah. Well, that's the second battle of the day. Yeah. For us, battle two, basically. And it, was that 50 or 100 yards we were moving? I was at least 100. Yeah, so you're basically moving from about 100 yards and initially with a sled, I think it had about 95 on it. Yeah. And then a sandbag on top of that. That's 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pound sandbag. I will let you explain your amazing entry into this battle. Yeah, coming out of battle one, I had some uh, little mishaps. So I hope battle two would go a little better. And then as soon as I uh, hit the gas coming out of start, uh, my sled completely came apart. The uh, collar wasn't tied down all the way. Or Pretty much loose. exploded. Yeah, yeah. Like all the weights, the sandbag, everything. Fortunately, they basically, a minute later, I guess they two started, minutes. two minutes later. Yeah, yeah. Two minute mark. So he started two minutes later, but the evolution of the battle was having that weighted down sled, taking it up to the firing line and drawing out the pistol 15. first, right? Yep, yep from standing. Yeah. 15 pistol at 25 yards. How'd you do on your pistol? Uh, not so great. Uh -huh. I, I could definitely do much better. I ended up, so, sorry. With respect to it, come down with that uh, sandbag on top of the sled. 
15 pistol standing 25 yards on steel back then just the sled down another 15 pistol standing and then back for me i ended up dropping 16 rounds i don't think any of them were rifle maybe one was rifle so i basically dropped like half my pistol shots which whatever i mean i've shot this pistol one other time or two other times i guess sig p365xl like it's a little pistol but once i slowed down i would get and then finally at the end i was getting all my hits because i was like okay like your hands in the trigger too much and i just shifted my point of aim so i'm, I'm just gonna know my hits yeah i missed 13 uh in the same way and tried to correct but at that point it was pretty much over so just yeah. got on to rifle and i think you missed zero i missed zero yeah for rifle uh the targets i guess were at 50 and once sandbag. you yeah that second time back with the sled pick up the sandbag run down 15 rifle wherever prone i shot pretty much as fast as soon as it would settle and then uh, sandbag back and then run down slick, 15 rifle, run back down. Uh, what was your total time, your raw time? Uh, I believe it was 5.02, or uh, the points were 3.63. So the time I think was 5.02. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. Third, no, I think you, you ran it the fastest, I think, raw yeah. time, right? Yeah. 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 My, t my raw time, I think, was like 6.22 or something like that. Yes. I don't think my... Any of my gear really helped me on any of these, but whatever, it was fun. I didn't drop any rifle. I mean, the rifle, I pretty much cranked as fast as I could, like as soon as they settled. Uh, yeah, whatever. It was fun, it's done, and now we have our next event in probably another three hours, or however long it takes. It was a big bottleneck earlier. We'll see if it's cleaned up, but uh, yeah. Next one is the long event, basically a O course with some shooting mixed in, okay. so. See what happens. Just like that, day one is over. Just finished the third battle of the day, and it was a mere, probably about five plus hours from battle two to battle three, but it is what it is. Somehow there ended up being a log jam, and yeah, like huge cascade, everything ran late. I don't know if the I don't know if everyone actually shot from the elite division. I was in the fourth heat of the elite division for that last battle. And yeah, like fading light. It started, picked up a water can and a, uh, I don't know, probably like a 50 pound bag down to the firing line, about 50 yards or something like that, dumped them, ended up shooting a magazine of 30 on steel at 100. For elites, no optic. So it's basically running the irons on here and you can barely like right at the cusp of this optic. I think it's an Aimpoint Pro, I don't even know, hard gun. But you can barely see them through them. Honestly, before, before today, I tried shooting the irons once at 200, wasn't able to put anything on target. And I was like, well, like this has to happen. So I basically played with this ladder sight back here, looking through, looking at my dot. I'm like, ah, looks pretty good. Turned it off, went, shot it. I, at one point I stopped because everyone's shooting. You hear steel, but you don't know if it's yours or not. There's five people shooting online. And I'm like, is anything hitting? He's like, can't give you any corrections or anything. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I kept shooting. Turns out I actually only dropped three, which pretty stoked on that. Like. AK sights suck, let alone through the bottom of an optic. So yeah, especially for having never shot with them before. But anyway, shot that. Then you got up and pulled my pistol out of my fanny pack. And there's poppers, there's three of them, but you have to hit the one on the left, support hand only. You have 10 rounds. Any extra rounds are a deduction of 10 seconds from your aggregate time. But if you miss all 10, you get added 100 seconds plus another 30 seconds. So 130 seconds added your time if you can't hit it within those 10 rounds. Fortunately, I think I hit it, I think maybe it was my third, fourth shot, something like that, and I was like, whew. And then after that, you just carry the stuff back the other 50 yards and then start in on a little obstacle course. There's over some stuff ladder 
uh, over a wall, like eight foot wall, a couple other things like climb through a tunnel and then ultimately I think a mile or something, maybe a little over a mile run, come back and pick up a JP Rifles had, they were laid out some uh, like pistol caliber carbines, nine mil. Throw the mag in, just dump it into the A box. It's close. I, don't, I didn't drop any um, red dot on it, I think. And then after that, sprint across the finish line. I think my total time was 13 something. Missed those three rifle rounds, and yeah, I got some bonus points or whatever. But no, I was stoked. Like, honestly, I'm just glad to be done. Like, that four or five hour wait was painful, and now it's dark. There's. <laughs> There's supposed to be a fourth event, obviously not happening. I think, yeah, hot, humid, it's worn out, but that's it for day one of those three battles. Be back out here tomorrow with day two. And uh, as always, thanks for joining us at kipadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.